Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video we are going to be taking a look at the August, I had to think about that, August Coco Daisy kits. Now I have never seen Coco Daisy do a kit like this before. It's actually based off of a location and I think Christine has just done a phenomenal job based on just the sneak peeks that I have seen. But this month's collection is called Spice Market. And we will take a look at the main planner kit first. And I also have the planner add-on, the classified kit, the dashboard kit, and several sticker kits to go over with you. This started last month, but the main planner kit now comes in this very nice heavy duty folder. Um, it has the Coco Daisy logo on it and a Velcro opening. So at the end of the month, you can store all of your leftover goodies in here, which I appreciate very much. The main planner kit does come with three double-sided large sheets of paper. Oh man, guys, the colors on this kit are so vibrant and saturated. I hope that the camera and the lighting is picking up just how gorgeous these colors are. I have not seen an acetate in the main planner kit in a while, but this month's does come with one. It's clear with these navy kind of brush strokes that says make a plan. Guys, this main planner kit is loaded this month. Simon has also made an appearance. It's this little Simon with the camera. It's an embroidered paper clip. You always get a package of die cuts in this kit and my favorite tab stickers come in here. Let me see if I can get those out for you. So whether I'm in discs, rings, traveler's notebooks, whatever it is, I love these because they are already adhesive. You get six of them and that's how I make the sections in my planner. You also always get a notepad. I always stick some of these in my planner to make notes. If I have to write something down and give it to someone as I'm out and about, those are really, you also get a stamping ink test sheet so you can test your stamps and inks on this side. And then on the reverse, you can try out all of your colored inks for the month. This month's sticky note is super functional. You have a today's goal section with the steps and a note section at the bottom definitely going to be using those. This month's washi in this kit is gorgeous. It is white with like a gold foiling pattern on it. So pretty. You do also always get a daisy ink pen in the main planner kit. This month's is this bright pink color with gold hardware. The crystals in the barrel are also pink this month and of course it has the daisy logo on the top. Now, this is a black gel ink, which I know lots of people like gel ink. And the nice thing is if you use it so much that you run out, you always get two refills in the kit as well. This month, we also got a planner band. I have used these on like my seven by nine coil bound notebooks or planners. I've also used these on my traveler's notebooks, disc bound systems. They work great for holding lots of books shut. This month, this kit also came with an acrylic piece that says for every minute spent organizing, an hour is earned. And I guess this isn't acrylic, it'd be more like a really thick acetate. But the thing is you can punch this for rings or discs or leave it as is as a bookmark. And then the sticky notepad works in conjunction with this piece. You also get three sticker sheets in this kit, a full size sheet that looks like this. Of course, the colors change to coordinate with the kit theme, but it's usually some sort of alpha and a date or list flag with some functional appointment labels at the bottom. And then the day and date sheet and my favorite part of this are these labels that work on these um, tabs that I showed you there at the beginning. It's a really functional, fun sticker sheet. And then you also get a smaller sheet, usually some sort of decorative sheet. Now you could get this kit like this with no insert. I did choose to get mine with an insert again this month and I chose, of course, the standard size Daisy Dory. So I will just flip through this real quick so you can see the beautiful artwork on the pages. Mm -hmm. 
So that is a look at the August main planner kit. Next up, we are going to dive into the planner add-on kit. We will start this kit with the page edgers. They are a glitter page edger sticker. So you will peel that off, place it on the edge, whichever edge you want of your paper, and then fold it over and it makes a nice decorative you touch. You do get three project cards in this kit. I call this the kit color card because it pulls all the colors from the kit. This one, don't let the world change your smile, let your smile change the world. And sometimes the most important things you do each day are never even on your list, amen. This month's four by six card is also stunning. Be a pop of color in a black and white world. My very favorite stickers come in this kit. This is the one I typically use to date my inserts with those fun circles. And then you can use them in conjunction with this sheet that has the days of the week. You also get a small decorative sheet. And one of my other favorite sheets is this tiny sheet, but it has so many fun functional stickers on it. You also get a die cut packet in this and I am ooing and aahing over these tiny labels. Those are super cute. So I might have to switch out my traditional larger ones from the main planner kit for these because those are cute. This month we also got a charm in this um, kit and I wanna see if it's a lobster charm or how it attaches. Where's the end here? There it is, yeah. So you can just attach that to your rings or strings jazz up your planner. It's a pretty like light blue down to a deep sapphire blue. This month this kit also came with a stamp set and it looks like they are different words. So we have budget journaling notes, don't forget schedule, daily to do, meeting tracker, creative meal plan next month, personal and this month. This month's washi is also a fun green, blue, and maybe a little bit of coral in there. And that wraps up the planner add-on for the month. Let's dive into dashboards. On this kit, you get six A5 sized dashboards. So I'm gonna spread those out here and then you get the same six prints only in personal size. So no matter what size planner you are using, you can either layer the smaller ones with some bigger paper or trim down the larger ones and you should have something that works for your planner. Again, that's the dashboard kit. Next up we have the planner classified kit. So usually this stuff is kept a secret. If you wanna fast forward, go ahead and do that now. This kit does come with an acetate and a vellum each month. This is the acetate, this is the vellum. So pretty. You also get some decorative stickers in this kit. Those are fun with the little stamps. You usually get one that looks like this that has extra days of the week on it as another option for dating your planner. And then we have some really cool plant um, stickers on that sheet. Also got three paper clips. I've really been enjoying these. They're small enough of a profile that I don't mind adding them to the top of my planner. I don't like a ton of stuff hanging out, but I can mark my pages with those. And then we have Simon here, status update. Looks like he's just hanging out and reading. This month we did also get a set of sticky notes that look like this and a clip topper that says plan on it. And we're gonna end with the washi for this kit. It's a very deep saturated blue, very pretty. And now we are going to look at some of the sticker kits. Okay, we have several sticker kits to go over. I have the Daisy add-on, the Bible journaling, the classic planner sticker kit, and the memory keeping sticker kit. We will take a look at the memory keeping sticker kit first. So you do have a sheet that has these large um, boxes which are made for like the big happy planner another sheet of those full-size boxes. 
You do also get another set of numbers with some fun little sayings up at the top and some functional circle labels. This one has a lot of decorative um, elements at the bottom and some labels at the top. You also get a sheet of alphas. This month's is a blue with a light blue font. And then this one is on transparent sticker paper. They're larger boxes with lots of fun little quotes. And then you get this teeny tiny little sheet of sayings. This one is also on transparent paper. Next up is the classic planner sticker kit. So you do get full boxes on this sheet as well. However, they are smaller than the rectangles on the memory keeping that I just showed you. So these are more for like, I think the classic happy planner. I'm not as familiar. I do use these in my Erin Condren um, hourly planner. Love this sheet that has the check lists and trackers. If you've been with me long, you know, I just love a functional sticker. Decorations are pretty, but I like them to function for me as well. So that's why this is one of my favorite sticker kits. Weekend banners with more checklists and headers. Those work really well in the Erin Condren vertical or hourly. This has some alphas at the top and then some washi strips at the bottom. So pretty. And then this kit wraps up with a transparent sheet. These are washi strips at the bottom and some more full box quotes at the top. Again, this is the classic planner sticker. If you do any sort of journaling, you are going to love this kit. This is the Bible journaling sticker kit. So we'll start with this decorative sheet. Now I will tell you all of these coordinate, as you can see. So if you don't Bible journal or journal and you just wanna use these in your planner, you can totally do that. Lots of functional boxes and then these are the ones I typically put in my Bible. Ooh, these are really fun. Look at those scalloped edge boxes. They kind of look like stamps, which would go with a theme I like those. We have a sheet of alphas. These are more of an ombre effect from orange down to a coral red color with a white font. And then this is the sheet of transparent stickers for this kit washi strips and some more sayings usually all scripture related for this one since it is bible journaling and we are going to wrap up with one of the smaller sticker kit options the coco daisy add-on sticker kit it just has kind of just a few sheets instead of so many but still super pretty oh guys more of these i'm so excited for those i like this very simple basic alpha it is in a kind of purplish navy color. And then it does have one sheet of transparent stickers with the washi and the sayings at the bottom. All right, guys, that is a look at what I subscribe to for August in Coco Daisy. Make sure you go to the Coco Daisy YouTube channel. There will be a playlist created where they add all of their creative team members videos. So not just unboxings, but as the creative team has um, videos posted for the month using the kit, they will be added to the playlist as well. So that will give you um, maybe another look at items that I didn't get and also ways you could be using the wonderful products throughout the month in your memory keeping, journaling, planning, all of the fun things. Thanks guys. I'll see you back next time.